Hi guys, it's Sarah, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. It is super gloomy in Newcastle, so miserable. It's been non-stop rain here, it's kind of depressing. Um, but today's video is going to be a haul, a lush haul, mm -hmm. because they have just launched their Mother's Day collection. So I thought I would showcase everything I've got plus two extra things from one from the Valentine's Day and one from the new core range that I just managed to get my hands on. So if you like the sound of that, then sit back and relax. <laughs> Okay, so I've literally just received the package today and it smells amazing. We've got loads of brand new items and, and actually some new smells that have never been uh, made before. So I'm really, really excited to dive in. I've got the naked product list with ingredients beside me and some product notes as well. I haven't bought everything from the range just because I don't need multiples of the same items, but just with different gift set paper. So what I will do is for those things that I haven't bought, I will put pictures up of those. But let's just dive straight in. The box smells very floral and it smells delicious. Now, Okay, so I've actually taken everything out of the box. I did pause it because I wanted to make sure that A, everything was here and nothing was damaged. So I'd have taken everything out. But the first thing that was at the top of the box is Mother of Pearl. So it has got a little bit of pink there from transfer, but it's this beautiful, shimmering, iridescent white bath bomb with an Alipi butter bath melt on the top from what I can feel. So this smells like a really delicate, light floral smell. It's really, really pretty. And then for the ingredients, you have got rice starch, benzoin resinoid, you've got uh, soybean flour, borage oil, and hibiscus seed oil with rosehip oil. So what, oh my God. This is gonna be a very luxurious milky bath. Borage oil, I've never heard of that before and it's quite a soothing ingredient. And then the soybean flour and the rice starch make the bath all milky and softening. A bit like maybe like a Cleopatra bath, so really, really pampering. And then you've got a hibiscus seed oil and rosehip oil and these are supposed to help promote elasticity in the skin. It has like a like I say, like a very light, beautiful floral smell. Then we have got Atom Heart Mother. So I'm gonna let you have a little look here. Again, got a little bit of pink on it just from transferring the box. And this smells like so white. It is super crisp and fresh, like a green apple. Really, really lovely. And you've got these little cute clouds, baby blue. So this has got bergamot, Brazilian orange oil, neroli oil, and you've got rose and orange flower absolute, so it's super uplifting. Really good for a mood booster with all that neroli oil in there. So this was actually inspired by one of Pink Floyd's albums, and they were inspired by that after they saw an article where it said Adam Heart Mother Named, and it was about a mother who had been um, given a prototype pacemaker that had plutonium in it, um, so they were inspired by that. So I think that's really, really cool. And it's supposed to go from a light blue to a dark blue, so you're kind of going from like daytime to like the deep dark blue night. So I'm very excited to try that one, and if you like Once Upon a Time, if you like So White, then you're gonna really, really, really love this one. And it's really cute, I like this, it's really cute. Little, little clouds. Then we have got a super bougie one. I can't not smell them before that before I uh, talk about them. But we've got a super bougie one. This one is rose gold and it's got a very ornate, I don't know how well you can say, ornate flower pattern. And then it's dusted with this beautiful kind of gold sparkle. This would be lovely to give as a gift on Chinese New Year because of that lovely kind of red and gold theme. And in here, you've got your Lang Ylang, you've got benzoin resinoid, you've got bergamot. You've also got a bit of orris root powder. So this adds like an aromatic, sweet, powdery and green smell. It definitely smells sweet. And it has like a, a sugary floral smell. It's really, really lovely. I really like this. It also has in it sodium alginate. So sodium alginate comes from seaweed. So it's gonna make your bath lovely and soft. So if you ever remember like um, the jelly bombs that they did, it's not gonna be like a thick jelly like that, but it's that had sodium alginate in it. So it's gonna make the skin lovely and soft, but no jelly, no jelly. 
Mm, it's, I really like this one. I think I like the smell of this one. Do I like this one more than this one? I would say that this one is more sweeter and stronger. Okie dokie. Next, we're gonna move on to the bubbles and the bubbles are what I'm most excited about because they are a new style of bubble bar. So you've obviously got your normal bubble bars which you crumble or you've got the reusable style but these ones, they have tweaked them. So I've got one here. Well, actually, I bought two of them because I love anything that is violet. And this is violet cream. Look, they kind of match. <laughs> they smell so good. They smell just like Daddy O shampoo. So loads of violet leaf in there. They have this beautiful iridescent sparkle. And they're a lot bigger than what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be itty bitty. So this one has uh, violet leaf, cornstarch, it has ice and sugar in there, it has a vegan fondant filling, so I imagine that's the ice and sugar, and uh, Pakistani rose absolute. For anyone who's a bit like, oh I'm not too keen on rose, you can't smell really the rose at all, it smells like daddy O shampoo. The sparkles that are on any of the products are biodegradable, so don't have to worry about that, you can have your sparkles and still enjoy them. But open this one up, because I've got two, because I want to see what the fondant's like. So, look, and there you go. And that is the cream inside. So these are actually inspired by the um, Violet Cream chocolates. Should we scoop some out and see what it looks like? I know that's not very attractive. I've got a little palette knife here. And we're gonna see what it's like. Oh, it's very thick. So there's the texture there. So you can see the cream. It's only a small amount. But I really like the idea of that. I think it's really fun and different. Um, and it adds like a sweetness to it as well. I'm gonna go wash my hands. But these are lovely, they're super decadent, and I absolutely love how they're in the shapes of flowers. They're so, so pretty, and they're absolutely gorgeous if you are giving them as a gift to your mom. Okay, so that's them there. So like I say, they're inspired by those delicious violet cream sweeties and the fondant filling inside is a bubbly mixture as well. I'm really, 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 really excited to try these. I'm so glad. It is about time that we have had violet stuff back in store. There has been not enough violet products in the shop. So I'm really, really pleased that they're there and I can't wait to get in the bath with those. Next up is Jasmine Cream. And this smells just like the Winter Garden bath bomb from Christmas or Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. It's really, really light, creamy, floral smell. Obviously, it's got jasmine in it. It also has in Ylang Ylang, rice starch, benzoin resinoid, and bergamot as well. It's really, really light and floral, and of course, it has that gorgeous fondant filling. Now, I like to pop in some little kind of tidbits about ingredients and other things like that that people maybe don't know about. The jasmine is sourced from India and Egypt and is actually picked at sunrise when the jasmine is most fragrant, which I think is really, really cool. So if you like the jasmine or winter garden smell, then absolutely pick up one of these. And again, it's, it, they're quite heavy. So I would definitely say, I like how this has got like the four petals, you could maybe even quarter that if you wanted to kind of do more bath cocktails. So that is all of the bubble bars. So just two cute little bubble bars. There isn't any shower gel this Mother's Day, which I'm quite sad about because I do like to have a, a seasonal shower gel, but obviously maybe they're gonna carry over the Prince Charming. So next up, we have Mamma Mia shower scrub. I'm gonna put a picture here. I didn't order any this time just because I've got a lot of scrubs to work through. Um, I really do like the smell. It's a really lovely kind of um, fruity, pink grape fruit and vanilla smell. It's like like fruity but creamy it's really really yummy so I did actually order a sample of the Mamma Mia shower scrub just so that you could see it but um, they, it, it didn't come so fair enough but what I'll tell you is it's got pink grapefruit puree in there vanilla absolute fine sea salt and Himalayan salt the fine sea salt and the Himalayan salt will give you that double scrub because you've got the fine and then you've got the coarse and so you're going to get extra extra smooth skin pink grapefruit rejuvenates the skin it's actually like a mild antiseptic and has antioxidant properties within the oils so again going to get that skin lovely and glowing and just like before a little, a little fact about the sea salt that's used within this scrub. The sea salt is harvested from a lake in Bulgaria called Lake Atanasovsk. 
Atana Sovsko. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And this is Bulgaria's largest salt production area, as well as it being the richest bird site. Um, it's actually a essential migration route in Europe for birds. Uh, around about 300 species do stop by there, which I think is really, really lovely. So since 2017, I've helped support a charity project protecting Dalmatian pelicans and have helped create an artificial island for the birds. So yes, I thought I would let you know some of the, the cool ethics behind some of the products as well as obviously the obvious things of what they are and what they do. So if you like the sound of that, there are two pots to choose from. There is a 300 gram pot for 11 pounds and a 625 gram pot for 20 pounds. So then we're gonna go into gifts. So I'm gonna put the picture up here for you. The first one is thank you. It's only 10 pounds and it is a bold, colorful splotch pattern a paper with pinks, purples, blues and oranges. It's really, really pretty. And then it contains the exclusive rainbow bubble bar, which smells like raspberry milkshake or conga shower jelly and then the Atom Heart Mother bath bomb. So if you're just wanting something quite affordable, something colourful and cute or if you just want to say like for Mother's Day or if you just want to say thank you to someone then this is a nice little gift and it's right on budget for only £10. Next up we have the You're The Best gift set. It's £16, it contains three items and it's a shower gift. So if you don't have a bath or if you're giving it for someone who doesn't have a bath, this is perfect. So you've got a comfort zone, shower bomb, so it's a little pink one, it smells like the comforter, which is black currant. It has um, chia seeds in there to give you a little scrub and it forms up whilst you're under the shower as you wash your body. You have a 130 gram pot of the Mamma Mia shower scrub and a 50 gram pot of Sleepy. So you've got a nice top to toe pamper and I like this because it's in recycled brown craft paper with these beautiful traditional flowers drawn on there with purple jute twine so all natural all easily recyclable and reusable then we have mum it's 26 pounds and it's all bath items so you've got the mother of pearl pampering relaxing bath bomb rose gold bath bomb you've got violet cream and jasmine cream bubble bars so you should get like um, six baths out of this and it comes in this beautiful paper it's called cardi paper and this is made from um, recycled cotton offcuts in Hubli in India. I think it's really, really cool all these different ways that they are making, packaging and reusing things from other industries and upcycling and I just love it. Um, and I absolutely love the illustrated kind of botanical drawings on this box. It's really, really lovely. And then last but not least, we have Happy Mother's Day and this is a not wrapped gift set. It's 50 pounds and you've got seven items to use, technically eight, including the not wrap. So you've got rose gold bath bomb, mother of pearl bath bomb, jasmine cream bubble bar. You've got a 45 gram pot of dream cream. You've got a 130 gram pot of Mamma Mia, you've, I can't not say it without Super Mario, I'm sorry. And then you've got 120 gram slice of lotus flower soap, which smells to me like strawberries. It's really fruity and fresh, and it has a very gentle exfoliation. And then you also have a 100 gram bottle of rose jam shower gel, along with the exclusive Happy Mother's Day's Not Wrap. So you can't buy that Not Wrap separately. And it's really, really pretty and colorful. The last gift that I forgot to mention, they are making this one. It's not available to buy yet on the website because I was very tempted to get it. But when it does go live, grab it before it goes. And this is the rhubarb and custard soap and soap dish set. Look at that jazzy soap dish. It's like pink and yellow zigzags. And obviously you've got that really fruity rhubarb and custard soap. The soap dish they're all ever so slightly different because they are handmade from about 79 percent of recycled clay that comes from um making sinks and toilets and things like that so amazing and i think if it's the same company it's made by the granby granby workshop in Liverpool. Now, if you're on a budget or if you want to create your own gifts, you can do so with things like the bath bomb holders, locked up papers, and not wraps. So there's only one bath bomb holder for Mother's Day, ding, and that is the flowers one. So it's pink and yellow. I think that would be really nice to hold, obviously, maybe a mother of pearl or a rose gold. But you know, these are quite big. You might be able to fit these in as well. And there's 150. And then the other thing that you can use to kind of just make a personalized gift for 150 is locked up paper. So when the stores open, 
they might already have some locked papers over with different patterns but the one that's coming out for Mother's Day is Psychedelic Squirrels so you've got like this hippy dippy kind of muted kind of rainbow pastel colours I really like the patterns on those and again that's for one bath bomb or one kind of round bubble bar I would say a bath bomb is probably better and you just swirl it round and you tie it with some twine and it just makes the bath bomb really really pretty and then of course we have knot wraps I've just got a little note on here we have knot wraps and I actually bought a knot wrap which I've now misplaced where have I put you I only bought one knot wrap I couldn't resist this one because it's so cute all the knot wraps for the mother's day collection are made from recycled plastic bottles but this one is called grace's cat i don't know how well i'm gonna move back a bit so you can see this is grace's cat look how cute this is so you've kind of got this a cream background with pink flowers and then you've got a pink and green cat i absolutely love this i'll put a picture here so you can see it a bit better but it's lovely and big it's absolutely stunning and it was only five pounds for how large it was the next knot wrap we have is pretty in pink and this one is four pounds so this would hold like one bath bomb in there or maybe like a small bubble bar and a little pot of body lotion like sleep, like a little pot of dream cream or charity pot so this is like it's like a baby pink color with blue and green flowers really, really like this one as well but the cat one was my favorite just because I love cats so much and then we have tree of life I was very tempted by this one I would say this is my second favorite one I don't know why I'm moving back I don't have it it's 12 pounds so it's gonna be absolutely massive but you've got all these super bright colors you've got that lovely turquoise teal and, and blue background with all with a tree in the middle and all these multicolored animals such as lions, elephants, monkeys, giraffes, birds. Really, really fun. And this would be great if you're wanting to really make a pampering gift for your mom. If you want to put loads of stuff in there, or if you just I don't know, got really long hair and you want to wrap it up. So next one we've got is Little Daisies. This one's four pounds. So again, I imagine this is a small one. It is blue with little white and yellow daisies, nice and contrasting. And then last but not least, we have the Sunflower Knot Wrap, which is five pounds. And this has got a bright blue background with super, super contrasting yellow slightly orange sunflowers so if you do like really vibrant knot wraps these are probably the, the, some of the best ones to go for i would say it's quite blue and green this selection but i do really enjoy all of the knot wraps that were out this year i definitely think grace's cat obviously because i got it in the tree of life hands down absolutely stunning and then I thought I would show you two things that I got as well that weren't part of Mother's Day, but I've been waiting to get my grubby little myths on. So the first one I've got is the 420 bath bomb. So you've got, it says on here, Lush CBD, and it says 420 on the bath bomb. It smells like Super Tramp, but it's got like a smokiness to it. It's really, really smoky, so I'm gonna get the ingredients. So in here you've got pimento berry oil, petit grain oil, ginger oil, sandalwood oil, and you've got cade oil. So it must be the cade oil that makes it really, really, really smoky. And then you've also got your canna, canna, cannabis oil, I'm probably saying that wrong, AKA your uh, CBD oil in there as well it's absolutely lovely and i cannot wait to have that i'm probably going to save that for maybe when the shop opens back up so when i start getting sore ankles again from being <laughs> being at work i can enjoy that and then i finally got my hands oh oh i've not smelt that on the bubble blow lips this this literally smells like being in a sweet shop it reminds me of, if you're local to Newcastle, it reminds me of going to Clough's in Heaton. And this is, oh my God, it's so it's so fruity and sweetie like Do you remember, I think it's a cross between those little candy lipsticks that you used to get. It's bringing back, like, I can feel at the back of my head, like, so much nostalgia. But I, I know your memories are linked here at the same time. I think it's because I can smell it here, but then I'm trying to think back here, way back in the memory, if that's where memories are also a little bit whammy i think mm, that's absolutely amazing and i can't wait to use it in fact what i'll do is i'll use it and i'll give you a demo that smells really really good right i'm gonna insert the demo here of me using it <laughs> Okay, well, what did you think of everything that i got i've put the i did forget to say the prices for the, all the bath stuff so i do apologize so i'll i'll, I'll type those in but 
I really love this range. This is a top notch range. This is a lovely way to say thank you to your mom or a lovely way just to treat someone or yourself if you want a pan that I cannot wait to dive into the violet creams. So comment down below what you really like, what you want. If you want to see any demos or anything, let me know. If you want to, you can always follow me on Instagram because I do post like bath pictures and bath cocktails on my stories. And if you really, really liked it, you can subscribe. Um, my Instagram is Sarah Jameson MUA, and obviously you can subscribe here. We are on our way to 1500. I am going to now from, literally from the last kitchen unboxing, I'm actually starting to put away items for a giveaway for when I hit 2000 subscribers. So I'm actually put away, I was gonna keep it myself, but I'm actually gonna put away the Lime Bounty uh, body lotion. And I'm also gonna start collecting other bits and bobs as well. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway at 2000 subscribers. So I will see you in the next video.